As Florida continues to reopen and more people travel here for leisure, our restaurants, though, are really feeling the weight. Yeah, they're short-staffed and customers are short-tempered. It's gotten so bad, restaurant owners are kicking off a new campaign asking customers to show a little more kindness. Erstasi Almos has more. More than a year and a half into the pandemic and restaurants across the country are still adapting to provide the best service with less staff. One in five restaurants nationally have closed uh, for good permanently. So we have lost some staff. The Columbia Restaurant Group has 14 eateries in Tampa Bay. The one you may know best is Florida's oldest restaurant and the world's largest Spanish restaurant, the Columbia in Ybor City. With that kind of success, you can imagine the demand. Just like the rest of the country, they too are noticing customers aren't always patient or kind. People will come in and see an empty table and wonder why they can't have it. Well. It's because somebody has a reservation for that table and not there yet, or we don't have a server who can handle it. If we cannot serve you and, and treat you the way that will be up to our expectations, we're not going to seat you there. That's why you'll see these signs when you walk into one of their restaurants, like this one at Santo Stefano, encouraging patrons to be kind when you dine. We know that people come to our Columbia Restaurant Group to escape from all their worries. But sometimes it feels as if some of them have come in with their last nerve right on edge. We're just trying to say, you know, we understand it, we get it. We want to be your shelter from the storm. We also hope that you can give us a little understanding and patience. This campaign is similar to one started by the Tampa Bay Beaches Chamber of Commerce in May called Patience in Pinellas. That's what we saw uh, by launching the Patience in Pinellas initiative, that it could be something in the face of the consumer. Right. And they would see it and we uh, workers would wear the button and just say, can you please bear with us today? We're doing the best we can. After a few months, they phased out the campaign, but then noticed it was still needed. It definitely is the fact that we're still hearing from some of the diligent staff that is working so hard. Right. They're, they're working double shifts. Uh, they're doing the best they can to service the great consumers that we have our business members have a great need for it. They feel like that their staff is being taken care of because someone's speaking on their behalf. I pulled up the latest job numbers from the Florida Chamber of Commerce. As of September, the Sunshine State recovered 974,000 jobs since the start of the pandemic. However, we still need to fill about 300,000. 66% of those jobs are in the leisure and hospitality sector. Nothing ever gets better by yelling at a hostess. Nothing ever gets better by, by storming out of a restaurant. We don't get better. It doesn't make your situation better. While the Columbia Restaurant Group is actively hiring, they know fine wine takes time. I think it may take a while, but as we say in our, in our campaign, together we'll get through this. And it's, it's patience and compassion and understanding and empathy. That's what it takes. Reporting in Tampa Bay, Stassi Olmos, ABC Action News.